Hey boys and girls, this is your teacher and we are at Arches National Park. I wish I could take you here on a field trip, but it's four hours away. Now Arches National Park has an interesting history. You see, once it used to be a sea, a very salty sea. And as that sea evaporated, the salt was left behind. Years passed and the sediment accumulated. And that put a lot of pressure and weight on this salt. And the salt under pressure is very unstable. And so the salt made the sediment crack into different segments. Now what you see here today is the result of weathering and erosion. And there are multiple forces of weathering and erosion at work here today. One of those is chemical erosion. The chemicals that you see in the rain and other things gradually erode at the rock. Another form of erosion is frost wedging. That is when the rain gets into the cracks and then it freezes overnight and as the water freezes it expands and that pushes against the cracks in the rock and gradually over time little bits flake off. Another form of erosion is from plants. As the plants grow the roots get deeper and deeper and they also grow and push against those rocks. Finally, we also have the forces of wind erosion at work. Little by little, grain by grain, little flecks of sand are shaved off of these sculptures by the wind. What you see before you is Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch is the most famous arch in National Arches National Park, which has the most arches in the world. Now the arch is formed when there's a layer of hard sediment that is in an arch shape, and then you have softer sediment underneath and around. And the wind erosion eats away gradually and peels back that softer sediment. What is left behind is the hard sediment that you see before you today. Now this has been here for thousands of years and will continue to be here, so you should come and enjoy it sometime with your family. Thank you, have a nice day. Yes, I am.